Welcome to Heath Riles Barbecue. On today's episode of Shooting the Q, we're going to be knocking out Cheshire Farm St. Louis style ribs with our honey and pecan rubs on the Deep South Smoker over Royal Oak Charcoal. Let's get started. All right, we've got our ribs out of the pack. All we did was dry them off and we went ahead and we took the membrane off the back here. I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. You can work your thumb underneath it and you use a paper towel or a butter knife or anything like that to remove your membrane. I don't want to trim any of the excess fat off the top of these ribs here at all because we're cooking them over that direct fire. I'm just gonna let it go. So the first thing I want to do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a little bit of a binder on here. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil and so I'm just gonna rub that in gently on the back of these ribs. And then I'm gonna take some of my pecan rub and sprinkle that on as a base layer. Now, I didn't wanna put any salt and pepper besides what's in the rub here. It has a good bit in it already. I'm not using my AP style rub. You can if you want to. You can use any style rub if you want. I'm just creating a different flavor profile with this honey pecan rub today of why I'm doing a rib like this. I'm gonna come back with my old trusty honey rub. Honey for the money, baby. You can see that nice golden color right there, what we're looking for. And I'm just gonna pat it in. Now, once I get that all shook in, and around the edges, I'm gonna come back to the front, top of these ribs, and I'm gonna do the same thing. You see, very much rub at all don't fall off of them ribs. So I'm gonna turn them over and do the same thing again. And then I'm gonna let them sit here and sweat in while we get our cooker fired up. While our ribs are sweating in, I wanna go ahead, the first thing I wanna do is get my cooker fired up. This is gonna be the all new mailbox from Deep South Smokers in Cumming, Georgia. It's a direct vertical cooker, which means the meat is cooking right over the flame. Now, it's pretty easy and it's a nice cooker. I really like it, it's heavy duty. It'll hold full sheet pans on top. It also has a design where the front opens up. It's got two more racks in it. So you're not having to remove your rack like you're on a drum to get to it. You can actually open the door up. It's got a fire basket where the fire can start on one end and burn all the way around. It's got air control in the door like an offset smoker. So this is gonna be a really good smoker. So let's get it fired up. Kind of get a whole bag in there, spread it around and get a couple tumbleweeds in. Now we're gonna let this go, let it get slid in. I'm gonna let it burn about five minutes and I'm gonna come shut the door and let it do a slow burn. I'm gonna pull it up to close to 300 degrees before I let it settle in to get ready to cook these ribs. Deep South Smoker is up to temp. It's running about 280 degrees right now, which is fine as long as it's running between 275 and 300. That's where I want it at. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of wood chips and drop in my fire here. These are bourbon barrel aged wood chips from Blue Note Bourbon. Uh, the smell is like opening up a bottle of that Blue Note Bourbon and smelling it, it's incredible. I can't wait to put that kiss of smoke on these ribs is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna get my lid up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a few in right through the grates right here. I'm gonna take my Cheshire ribs here and I'm gonna lay them front to back, or side to side anyway. Kinda of squish them up just a little bit, get them where they should be. Now I wanna get this cooker shut before the flame gets up and get it back down. Once I get my ribs on, they're gonna go one hour before I check them, as long as they hold about 300 degrees. I don't wanna do anything but just let them go let them get a little kiss of that smoke and the fat drip on the fire, a little bit of sizzle, and I'm gonna check them and see if we need to flip them, turn them, move them, anything like that. All right, let's give it an hour. We're one hour in on our ribs. Let's take a look and see what they look like. Oh yeah, the color is looking great from the pecan and honey rubs. Let's check the undercarriage here. Oh, the undercarriage is perfect on those ribs. Now, I'm gonna leave them alone Yep, I'm gonna leave them alone. I was making sure it wouldn't 
too much of a char on them. I'm gonna leave these alone for another 30 minutes and then we're gonna check them and we're probably gonna wrap them. All right, it's been an hour and a half. Our ribs are ready to come off. You can see at the beautiful color they have on this Deep South Grill with that roll oat charcoal and a little bit of the blue note smirking, smoking chips. I'm gonna go ahead and get these ribs wrapped up over here and get them back on to finish off. We've got our ribs off our cooker here. I wanna go ahead and get them wrapped up. I'm gonna show you a little tip or a little trick about using my butter bath. I take the foil and put it on a sheet pan here so it kinda of creates like a bowl so you're not chasing your butter bath on the foil. I get that a lot. I mixed up a cup and a half of apple juice and six tablespoons of butter bath. That's three tablespoons of butter bath and three quarters of a cup of apple juice per slab of ribs. Now we got new packaging coming out soon on the butter bath, but it makes wrapping a breeze, so I wanna pour about half of this in here with these ribs. Making it simple, making it easy. Yep. Now all I'm gonna do is take, wrap that rib up nice and snug and get it back on the cooker for about 45 minutes to get it tender. Now I'm gonna do this other one and we'll get it back on the grill. All right, our ribs are ready to come off the grill. They've had a total cook time of two hours and 15 minutes. They're hitting, I just checked them with a thermopin right in the center of the foil here. And I'll go ahead and show you. So when you can go in that rib in the center right there and it come on down and hitting 204, 205, 206, 207, same way with that, 208, we know we're money on these ribs over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, get them pulled off and let them rest for about 20 minutes and we're gonna glaze them up and eat them. Now that our ribs are off the grill, they've rested for about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at them here. Oh my God, they look gorgeous. Now before I get out of the foil, I'm gonna go ahead and paint some sauce on here. Now we made up a sauce of sweet sauce, a little bit of pecan rub, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of honey, a couple other things. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description. It's also got blue note bourbon in it. This sauce is sweet. It's sticky, it's just what we're looking for for these ribs here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this painted on my ribs. And once we get these all glazed up, we're gonna get them back on the cooker to tack this sauce up for about 15 minutes. And we're gonna be ready to eat. Listen at that sizzle. Let's get them back on for about 10 minutes to set that glaze and we're gonna be ready to eat. All right, our ribs are off the cooker, and just to recap, we took two racks of St. Louis style ribs from Cheshire Farms out of North Carolina. We rubbed them down with a little bit of olive oil and some honey rub and some pecan rub. I did use the pecan first and then the honey for the color. I put it on my Deep South mailbox, a little bit of roll oak charcoal and a little bit of bourbon wood chips from Blue Note Bourbon out of Memphis. I smoked them for an hour and a half and then I wrapped them up in my butter bath for about 45 minutes. They rested for about 15, they got sauce, and they went back on the grill for 15. So these are two and a half hour ribs is all this is. Now's the moment of truth, time to try one. Mmm. Flavor on that is incredible. They don't call me the rib man for nothing. Damn, that's good. Remember, if you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends, at Heath Rouse BBQ on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok. Thanks for watching.